We begin this morning with a one man's apparent suicide mission that caused tension in skies over Seattle for more than an hour Friday night. Authorities say an employee of Horizon Air, a regional carrier owned by Alaska Airlines, stole an empty turboprop plane from Seattle Tacoma International Airport before crashing it on Ketron Island in Puget Sound, southwest of Seattle. Amateur video shows the plane being followed by F-15 fighter jets before the crash. I got a lot of people that care about me, and uh, it's gonna disappoint them to, to you that I did this. Um, I would like to apologize to each and every one of them. Um, just that broken guy, got a few screws loose, I guess. Never really knew it until now. I'm, uh, I'm down to 2100. I started like 30 something. Reese, you said you're at uh, 2100 pounds of fuel left? Yeah, it burned quite a bit faster than I expected. Uh, I would like to figure out how to get this cabin altitude. Like, I know where the box is. I would like to get some, uh, make, it, make it pressurized or something so I'm not so light headed. Okay. There is the uh, the runway just off your right side in about a mile. Do you see that? That's the uh, that's the uh, that's McCord uh, Field. Oh man, those guys would rough me up if I uh, tried landing there. I think I I think I might mess something up there too. I wouldn't want to do that. Uh, hopefully, oh, they probably got anti-aircraft. No, they don't have any of that stuff. Uh, we we're just trying to find a place for you to land safely. Yeah, not quite ready to bring it down just yet, but holy smokes, I gotta, I gotta stop looking at the fuel because it's going down quick. He just needs some help controlling his aircraft. Very good. Nah, I mean, I don't need that much help. I played some video games before. Anyway, uh, minimum wage. We'll uh, chalk it up to that. Maybe that'll uh, grease the gears a little bit with the higher up. Maybe, uh, yeah. Damn it, Andrew! People's lives are at stake here! Now, Rich, don't, don't say stuff like that. Nah, I just told you, I'm not, I don't want to hear no one. I just want you to whisper sweet nothing in my ear. Hey, you think if I land this successfully, uh, Lapsco will give me a job as a pilot? Um, you know, I think they would give you a job of doing anything if you could pull this off. Yeah, right! Nah, I'm a white guy, dude. Just like me, what we want to see is you not get hurt or anybody else get hurt. So like I said, if you want to try to land, that's probably the best place to go. Hey, I want the coordinates of that orca with the, you know, the mama orca with the baby. I want to go see that guy. Stay on the ground. All right. Nah, damn it. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't want to. I was kind of hoping that was going to be it, you know? I think I'm going to land it. Not like uh, in a safe, safe kind of manner. Well, Rich, before you do that, uh, let's think about this. I got another uh, pilot coming up, Pilot Joel, here in just a minute or two, I hope. And uh, we'll be able to give you some advice on what to do next. Just flying the plane around, do you seem comfortable with that? Oh, hell yeah, it's a blast, man. I've played video games before, so I, uh, you know, I know what I'm doing a little bit. Okay, and, uh, and you can see all the terrain around you. Uh, you've got no issue with visibility or anything? Nah, everything's peachy. Peachy clean. Just did a little circle around right here. It's beautiful. Um, I think I got some gas to go check out, uh, this is probably, uh, like jail time for life, huh? I, I mean, I would hope it is for a guy like me. I think I'm, uh, I think I'm trying to do a barrel roll. And if that goes good, then I'm just going to nose down and call the night.
Thank you.